Gilbert Arenas made $160 million in the NBA, but still couldn't afford his kids' tuition and had to live in a stadium. This is how Gilbert Arenas ran into money problems. The problems started piling up early. Agent Zero spent his entire rookie salary before he was even drafted, thinking he'd be a top 10 pick and making millions. Arenas spent over $800,000 before the draft. He bought an Escalade with five TVs and a stereo system. He bought a gold chain with his initials. And then draft came, where Arenas didn't get drafted until the second round and didn't make the millions he'd hoped. It didn't help he was drafted by the Warriors in the expensive Bay Area. During his first two years in the league, his budget was just $400 a month and even had to live inside the Warriors stadium for a bit. But luckily for Gilbert, he actually became a pretty darn good player. He won most improved player in his second year and earned a fat $65 million payday from the Washington Wizards. A few years later, he turned that into a $111 million extension, making him one of the most highest paid players in the NBA. Mixed with a $50 million endorsement deal with Adidas, Arenas was riding high and set for life until everything started crashing down for him. Injuries piled up. And then the infamous incident in 2009, when Arenas brought four guns into the locker room over a card game and dared Javaris Crintenton to shoot him. All of his sponsorship deals were immediately terminated, including that $50 million Adidas won. And Arenas was out of the league by 2012. But even at that point, he had earned roughly $160 million in NBA salary. He should still be set for life. But in 2016, Gilbert reported that he couldn't even pay for his kids' tuition anymore. One big reason why was that the financial firm that Arenas hired in 2008 spent his money recklessly, causing Arenas to lose millions. And he later sued them for $40 million. At the same time, Arenas' former agent was literally stealing money out of Gilbert's bank account. To top it off, Arenas was still living larger than life spending five grand a month on his pet sharks and buying a luxury high-tech minivan whose system was all in Chinese. It's only in Chinese, so... <laughs> but Arenas has started to turn things around. After a few TV appearances and starting his own podcast, Arenas is rebuilding his image and as of 2022, has a net worth of $20 million. But imagine if he managed his salary better with smarter saving and investing. He could have been worth hundreds of millions millions easy.